recognize this superhero on the screen. Yes, we all know that this is the very famous Superman. Most of us here are a big fan of Superman. If you have ever seen his movies, then you must be knowing that he has a special association with the kryptonite mineral. So you see that minerals, be it in comics or in real life, play a very important role in everybody's day-to-day -day routine. In our previous lessons on minerals, we understood that it is one of the most important and valuable resources found on the Earth's surface. Now, minerals are generally found in desert and plateau areas. Though these regions are geographically not suitable for human settlement, but the work opportunities here, like the mining industry, which provides work opportunity for thousands of people, and the important minerals found in these regions attract people to go there and settle down. So, minerals are generally found in plateau and desert areas. However, to fully utilize these minerals, we need to understand their distribution. Only utilizing them is not enough, but utilizing them wisely is what we need to be careful about. So knowing the distribution of these minerals, we need to understand that how these minerals are obtained from the Earth's surface. So the process by which these minerals are obtained from the Earth's surface or extracted from the Earth's surface is called mining. So mining is the method by which the mineral ores and the minerals are extracted from the Earth's surface. So mining is the method by which the mineral ores and minerals are extracted from the Earth's crust. Now these valuable minerals are unevenly distributed across a particular region or a particular country for that matter. So if you take a look at the map of India, we see that regions like the Malwa Plateau region, the Deccan Plateau region, Chodanagpur Plateau region and also the valley of Damo, the river that is right here, are places that are rich in minerals. However, if we take into consideration the Indo-Gangetic region, that is the northern plains of India, they do not have sufficient mineral resources. So minerals are unevenly distributed and to fully utilize them, we need to have a clear understanding of the distribution, right? So we understood that minerals are unevenly distributed across any particular area, just like we saw in the map of India. Now, in this lesson, we will be talking about the metallic minerals, their uses and their distribution. In our previous lessons, we learnt that minerals can be broadly classified into metallic and non-metallic minerals depending on the properties it holds. Right? So in today's lesson, we will be only focusing on the metallic minerals. So these are the different metallic minerals. Iron ore, uranium, bauxite, copper, gold, silver and manganese. These are the most important and widely used metallic minerals out of which we will be learning about iron ore, uranium, bauxite and copper in today's lesson. Now, iron ore is one of the most abundantly used mineral ore. We extract iron from the iron ore, which is then used for various purposes. Now, the iron extracted from iron ore is used to make steel, which is an important part of the iron and steel industry. It is also used to make agricultural and transportational equipment. So we see that iron ore plays an important role and is widely used in everyday purposes. So agricultural industry or transportation is what we come across or is what that surrounds us almost 24-7. So let us take a look at the distribution of iron ore in India. So if we take a look at the map of India, we see that these are the leading producers of iron ore in India. And what are these states? We have Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, 
Karnataka, Goa and Maharashtra. Now out of all these states, Odisha is the largest producer of iron ore in India. If we take a look at the world map, we see that Australia is the largest producer of iron ore in the world, right? It is responsible for 37.6% of the total iron ore production of the world. However, other leading producers of Australia are Brazil, which is the second largest producer of iron ore, followed by China, which is the top producer of iron ore in Asia. However, it also tops the list of the largest importer of iron ore. This is because it is one of those countries which uses a huge amount of iron ore in its industries. Now coming to India. So India is the fourth largest producer of iron ore in the world. However, it is one of the largest producer of iron ore in India. So its main markets is in Japan and South Korea, while it also uses a huge amount of iron ore in its iron and steel industry. And finally, Russia is also one of the leading producers of iron ore. Now let us look at another important metallic mineral and that is uranium. Uranium is widely used as a fuel in nuclear power plants. So uranium helps us obtain nuclear energy which is a renewable source of energy and it causes less pollution. Now uranium is also used in nuclear reactors which are used to run naval ships and submarines. So you see that it plays a very important role for the shipbuilding industry and also for the naval forces of any country. Another importance of uranium is that it is used in nuclear weapons. So it also has a military importance for any country or region. Now if we take a look at the map of India, we see that the leading producers of uranium are Rajasthan, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Jharkhand. Out of these, the largest producer of uranium is Andhra Pradesh. So before we proceed with the lesson, could you help me answer this question? Which of the following states is the largest producer of uranium in India? Is it Rajasthan, Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh or Karnataka? The correct answer is Andhra Pradesh. So Andhra Pradesh is the largest producer of uranium in India. However, if we take a look at the world map, we see that these are the leading producers of uranium. And what are these countries? We have Canada, Namibia, Niger, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, China and Australia. Now out of all of these, Kazakhstan is the largest producer of uranium in the world. Now even Greenland that is right here had a huge deposits of the mineral that is uranium. However, due to excessive attraction of uranium from this country, the Greenland government put reimposed a ban on the extraction of or on the mining of uranium. So it is no longer in the list of the largest producer of uranium, though earlier it was. So here is another important mineral that is bauxite. Now bauxite as we learned earlier is the mineral ore of aluminium. Bauxite itself acts as a mineral, however it also acts as a mineral ore for aluminium. So aluminium that is extracted from bauxite is used for various purposes. It is used in aircrafts, in utensils that we use on a daily basis and in electrical cables and foils. Now why so? Because aluminium is a good conductor of heat and electricity. So it facilitates electric wiring in households and in any other place and it also keeps food warm through these foils that is made out of aluminium. In India, Odisha is the largest producer of bauxite. However, other leading producers of bauxite in India are Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, 
Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand. So Odisha is the largest producer and others are also doing well in the production of bauxite. Now if we take a look at the world map, we see that these are the leading producers of bauxite, which includes Brazil, Guinea, India, China and Australia. Now out of all these, Australia is the largest producer of bauxite in the world. Now let us come to the widely and most commonly used mineral that is copper. So copper is an important metallic mineral that is used on a daily basis. Copper as we have learned earlier has metallic properties. It is a good conductor of heat and electricity and therefore is widely used in electrical wiring. So copper is used in cable wires. It is also commonly used in electric motors and in utensils and bottles made out of copper. So we see that besides being an important mineral, it is also widely and commonly used in our households. Now let us see how this mineral is distributed in India. So it is present in many places in India. However, these states are the leading producers of copper. So we have Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand as leading producers of copper in India. Out of these, Rajasthan is the largest producer of copper. Globally, this mineral is present and is produced in many countries. And these countries are Chile, Peru, Mexico, USA, Canada, Congo, Zambia, Poland, Russia, China. Now out of all these countries, Chile is the largest producer of copper in the world. However, Peru is believed to exceed the production of Chile very soon because of the Chinese investments in Peru's copper industries. So in this lesson, we were able to understand the importance of minerals and we saw how minerals are unevenly distributed at a particular region. Now, this uneven distribution helps us understand that minerals need to be utilized, but we need to utilize it wisely. There are some places with higher concentration of certain minerals, but there are some places that lack or do not have sufficient reserves of a particular mineral. We looked at some important metallic minerals. We understood their uses and also saw how they are distributed across the world and in India. We will continue our discussion on the distribution of metallic and non-metallic minerals and also their uses in our next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.